Hi guys, this is Kearns and this is the lesson 8 of this series of swing trading class. Um, today we're gonna talk about time frame. Okay. Now, time frame is um, one of the um, it's one it's a question that almost every beginners are asking they say so often you you hear beginners say uh, a brand new I mean um, when I mean beginner it's anybody who didn't or who have not been trading for more than two years that's what I mean by beginner they keep saying well what time frame should I use now in this lesson I'm gonna try to answer one question is you choose your time frame based on your trading style and then you choose your trading style based on your personality um, let's start um, this section generally I start my, all my lesson with a simple quote but I think I'm gonna change let I'm gonna change a little bit just for that lesson I'm gonna try to make a I'm gonna try to make you laugh um, and teaching you at the same time you know Trading is a war between the bull and the bears. Okay, so in any given war, you know, war are being made by warriors, not civilians. So we need an army to go to war. See, in the trading world, these guys, the investors, you know, they're very old. They got all sorts of decoration, you know, they have main, they probably have you know a very old man this guy can barely stand straight and they have accomplished a bunch of stuff i mean look at that look at all those all, all those decorations and stuff you know pretty sharp and stuff too see those investors they all share something in common you do not disobey them if they tell you to go right you go right if they tell you to go left you go left if it tells you that the market is bullish, the market is bullish. If they tell you that the market is bearish, the market is bearish. If you want to go against them, it's at your own risk. Actually, it's only the stupid people will follow you if you want to go against them. You just don't go against these guys. And then, these are day traders. You know, I got a couple of friends when we were together. We have different trading styles. I think I told you that and when we get together we kind of having fun to each other we use different tra trading styles and we even have different kind of analysis styles like our fundamentals friends you know the traders these are the traders you know they have all their money back in their bag you know it just got graduated you know they want to go straight into the business you know even though you, you tell them you know what you, you're supposed to swing first you know try investing first and then you know get ready for two years of suffering they say no we're gonna day trade you know um got a friend yeah, but not a friend it's a guy that i was teaching it was a few years ago and he was in college and then i tell him that well you should wait for at least two years and, you know get ready for that two years learning curve and he told me that well not for people with high iq and that was his last time i heard him and after a few years i thing that he blew up is his college money and stuff man that was crazy crazy thing and then these guys are sculptors you know i love to have fun to my friend sculptors and that's a perfect example that represents sculptors it's generally you know sculptors they only think in, in numbers you know as the kind of dude they say we need fifty thousand men and you have seventy thousand men and then we, we we're gonna fight this army of 140,000 men oh man we need more men they only talk in terms of numbers you know generally it's a dude i'll try to show you that you know it's a guy he got some money he's only looking for um i'll show you that sorry he's only looking for that particular one percent one percent a day you know a lot of you you can hear that so often think so like man i only need my one percent per day you know so one percent a day eventually two percent you know if you have been trading for more than two years this is actually pretty easy to do you know 
But these guys, like I tell you, they only think in terms of numbers. They got accounts from anywhere from 100k to 1 million. I mean, if you're making one person out of 100k, that's one thousand dollar. If you manage to make that twenty days a month, that's twenty thousand dollar payout, which is decent. I mean, way that's that's good. If you can do that in with one million dollar, that's that's uh, let's say that, that's ten thousand dollar a day, which is one percent. But you cannot go ahead and risk one hundred thousand dollar if you're a college student. If you're just starting, you have a small account. I mean, if you have one hundred dollar. Honestly, if you've been trading with one hundred dollar, you want to make one percent a day. You can sit down in front of your screen, be in slave of the screen, you know, and wait for opportunities, put up a bunch of alerts and stuff, and then you will manage to make that one percent a day. But if you have only one hundred dollar, that's one dollar per day. You cannot make a living out of one dollar a day. You cannot make a living out of that. You can easily move that money from one hundred dollar to anywhere to one hundred and one hundred and twenty or one hundred and thirty dollar if you're trading in cryptocurrency. You can easily make that. Whatever the market situation, you can easily make that happen. You know, but scalpers they are well known to use numbers. You know, they use big account to make money. Now, from the purposes of this class. I'm not interested in scalping. I mean, I, I I I used to scalp, but I don't do it because you cannot scalp and having a lot of time. It's it's technically you 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 have a full time job. You're working on your on your own, but you technically you you're working. Uh, you I mean, scalpers they stay a lot in front of the skin. That's what I'm trying to say. You know. These people, they only thinking. They don't care about trends. They go against the trends all the time, because they only looking for that small volatility, that one point percent, two percent. You know, I mean, these guys, <laughs> they are barbarian warriors. <laughs> Look at them over there. <laughs> you know, so I hope you enjoy that joke. So, wait, did I forget something? Where are we? Where are the swing traders? Oh, oh yeah, here we are. That's that's me right there, you know. That's it. That's me right there. I'm gonna stay there, you know. I don't care what time. If it's gonna be one week, it's gonna be one month. I'm gonna stay there, wait for this perfect clear shot, you know. I'm gonna crop my pants, you know, peel my pants. I'm gonna sit there and wait for that scrap. I mean, this is the perfect way to. Um, illustrate a swing traders if there is something that every good swing trader share they have in common is patience you know we are probably one of the most patient person in the world of trading we are extremely patient people and like I told you like I told you, better find a trading style that fits your personality, preferably before you blow up your account. Because if you don't, you will blow up your account. That is a guarantee. So, uh, just to make a comment, if you are, um, if you are, I mean, it, this is extremely important when it comes to. Um, I'm gonna be more serious now. This is extremely important, especially when it comes to selecting your trading style. It's extremely important to get a trading style that fits you. I mean, some people enjoy their scalping. I mean, scalpers, they are doing good. Um, this is a totally different type of trading style. You know, I mean, I, I think that swings give you more time. Uh, for an example, only come in front of the screen. Um, I sit in front of my computer, honestly. Just uh, one to two hours per day, just to put my technical analysis update, technical analysis every day. I might wait, uh, I don't know, a few days. If I enter a trade, I'll get, I'll probably let the trade keep going for a few days. I let my trade overnight, and this is my style. So if you are that type of person, you like plan. 
you like doing you know you like planification for an example you like plan plan everything the type of person who that can be extremely patient you know maybe this is the type swing trading might be the style for you okay but if you are um if you are um if you like adrenaline wash you know maybe you you'll be a better day trader or swing trade or scalper you know if you're the type of person that you just um and you know the big guys the investor type i just buy it and leave it for like uh I don't know decades and stuff you know Warren Buffett style you know just go ahead and do something that fits your personality but I personally believe that swing trading can be very fun and allows you have a lot of time you know with your family and stuff that's my opinion so what are the principle when it comes to using time frame stuff you need to know about that is that everything the the bigger the time frame the bigger the significance of the technical analysis what is support resistance we're gonna have to talk about that in a few few lessons uh, trend lines and all patterns what i'm trying to say is anything like um, you, when you start when you start trading you're gonna start getting familiar with um different type of pattern you're gonna start getting familiar you know gonna start familiar with um let's say um trend lines you're gonna get used to place good trend lines you know you're gonna start uh, using support and resistance these are very basic technical analysis tool and different type of pattern you know when you're using your uh candlestick studies you know different things like triangles and you know um triangles um head and shoulder head and shoulder um what else double top double bottom these are the type of things we're gonna cover them in a part three and teach you how to trade them perfectly what happened is that the bigger the time frame the more power they have a support and resistance is more important in one day one day one week they are more significant than a support and resistance in one minute or five minutes. They are most significant. These are the type of time frame you just cannot trade by ignoring them because they will hit you hard. So the bigger the time frame, the stronger or the more significant the technical analysis. And per, um, personally, as swing traders, we hide. We hide by those big time frames. We use them as backup. Just every time we came up on the market, we put on a trade. We we generally use big time frame as a way to back up our opinion in the market, and so often it works. So, well, when I'm talking about time frames, um, to make it more practical make it more practical I am gonna say um, time frame um, is one of the characteristics that helps you distinguish dis distinguish excuse me the different type of trading styles now time frame is not the only thing that make the difference for an example between a swing trader and an investor but this um, this is one of the characters for an example scalpers generally they like i told you they use big count they're looking for that small this that small um small let me let me pull out the, they use big big account you know big account and they're looking for that you know one percent two percent per trade and stuff generally those people like uh are one to one for an example they risk one dollar to get another dollar for me this is totally absurd i'm not gonna put all that money in the market and just expecting a few percent you know i would have stay home keep my money in my pocket because you know what no trade 
I didn't tell you that yet. No trade. It's actually a trade. And there's a few people that really understand that sometimes staying away from the market is probably the best trade you ever take. So be careful, you know, when you multiply, we call it multiply, um, multiplicate your trade, like people that are taking like up to, I don't know, 10, 20 trades a day. Or honestly, my personal opinion, uh, that's the kind of things that fit my personally. Like I told you, for me, that's way too much. Well, if you're the type of person that like playing video games when you were young, I don't know, maybe you might find it interesting to be a scalper or a day trader. But the point here is scalper generally, they take action between 1 minute to 15 minutes. Day traders, they go a little bit higher, but day traders, they never go overnight. So they never let their trade overnight. They never do that. So a day trader, that's probably the the main thing that um, identify a day trader. Uh, maybe sometimes day traders, they used to go a little bit lower than 15 minutes. But the point is, whatever the situation, they will close their trade before the day ends. In whatever the market, stock market, cryptocurrencies, they just close the same day. Um, where I am the i'm using the utc4 utc minus four this is my time zone and the daily the daily candle close at 8 p.m daily candles one day of trading it's 8 p.m to 8 p.m so a day trader for an example that is using the same time zone that i'm using which is utc minus four well, this person will essentially open a trade between that period of time and close it at 8 p.m. No matter what, if it's a win or if it's a loss. Okay, but swing trading is way higher. Swing traders, we don't go anywhere lower than four hour time frame. Now, sometimes we do, um, we do use the one hour time frame, but we never go anywhere on the four hour. Okay, and our golden, I mean our the corners, our golden time frame is the one day. We almost do anything here. Okay, so and investors they use big time frame is generally uh, one week and higher. This is one of the way you can um, differ yourself from how a different type of trading style. But when I tell you uh, for example, a scalper, you, um, I'm going to tell you, well, 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minute, um, day traders, 15 minute to 1 day. The time frame is not the only thing that differ to th those type of trading style. Their trading strategies are different. For an example, swing traders, um, maybe I need to go and use a, a different, let me get the... Um, I'm gonna just get that um, little bit of information, little, little bit of explanation because um, that's the perfect lesson to talk about that. So, trading style, trading style. So, I said you got the scalpers, the day traders. Um, swing traders and then investors um, harder than time frame is one of the things that make the difference between this type of actors in the market they are all traders in general but the thing is that some things are more important for one trading style than the others i'll give you an example that's these are just an example for swing traders trends 30 is the most important thing for us trends 30 so this is probably um one of the things you need to know the best analysis in, in the market are probably swing traders 
you know because of the way we do things in the market because of the fact that we'll probably let a trade open for a very long period of time we, we don't want to go ahead and um going to slip and then having something uh, bothering our mind we take care about our trends 30. for an example money management is probably one of the most important thing for um scalpers i'm not saying that money management is not important for the other ones but because of the fact that scalpers and eventually they they traders too if because of the fact that they are taking so much trades in for example on, in a period of 30 business day you have to um do some very tight calculations because i mean playing around with one to to two percent with a uh, uh, ratio of one to one that's a lot of calculation you know in order to make a living out of this i mean good scalpers they are perfectly be able to make a huge chunk of cash a month but that's a lot of calculation involved you know it's more money management on a daily basis like practically talking day traders same thing money management it's a mix of money management and trends okay a day trader so often they trade um they might sometimes their trading strategy might be a little bit closer to scalpers or a little bit closer to swing traders it's generally a mix okay and the cornerstone or the most important thing about the traders is they don't let any trade open overnight sometimes a day trader generally day traders they um they are swings some sometimes a trader might use two different trading style at the same time so often you'll find that um uh for an example a swing trader sometimes he is is most mo most of the time he's swing traders is is taking swing trades and so often um he might take a few day trade for an example um generally i swing trade but s sometimes i take some day trade positions um generally it happens between monday and wednesday so i never day trade anywhere but it's always between those three days just for the purpose of my training strategy so you put for an example some scalpers they are day traders you know um they they use different um trading strategy um the thing is even though a scalper they kind of use the same uh, for an example a day trader will never go overnight a scalper will never go overnight too but the thing is that a day trader might let an op opposition open for f for a few hours scalpers they generally do not stay in the market for more than a few 15 to 30 minutes so that's the way they trade because they are looking for tiny moves okay which is different from um, the traders investors are big guys and generally investors they are they might use technical analysis but generally they are fundamentalists generally okay generally they are fundamentalists they use the they use technical analysis too but there is a good um their decision is um there is a good part of fundamentalism in their decision for example as a swing trader you know so often um it's funny so often i don't even care about what's going on in the news i barely watch what's going on and i, I don't even care really about what what's happening you know i only take my technical analyst a couple of um couple of a strategy um depends on the market trend a uh, couple of alerts and stuff and every day around 8 to 9 p.m between no, between 7 and 9 p.m i open my computer and we view my um my most important coin and remember i never trade anywhere under the top 10 so i open my coin base and my coin market cap 
and I only could look to trade the top 10. You know, I hold on if you're not part of the top five, a exception for Bitcoin Cash, or I don't touch that thing. Um, I don't hold anything on that is not between the top five. So there is a ver I, I select my coin very specifically. So maybe, for an example, um, ETP. I think that this this coin is probably one of the most volatile I ever saw. ETP right there. ETP might be killing it today with a 30% gain. I don't care. Okay, I don't care. That's my trading style and I stick to it and it works. It works, I stick to it. So that's all I want I wanted to say. So it's not just a time frame that helped to make the difference, but there is a question of um personality, time frame, yes, but personality, trading style, extremely important, and then um, type of analysis okay um, now let's get into stuff that we may really um, our subject okay swim swing trading now generally um, I'm not the first person to tell you that uh, I'll probably you probably heard that generally a trader must use only one time frame now the common the common thing you might hear is that they'll tell you that you should use only one time frame they never men, men, uh, mention men I put it because it's important for you to understand there's a lot of information out there when it comes to trading you get a couple of free videos online but generally you realize that you know if, if you if you are buying good books and then you realize that uh, there's a lot of information that are incomplete the thing is that it's not their fault and i'm strongly and i strongly believe that even in this class i'm trying to be um, very informative but i am sure that this not this is not even 10 percent of what you're supposed to know that's the reason why um I put the disclaimer because you need to know that there's way more than that to learn when it comes to trading so you need to use at least one main time frame the reason is even though you are using one time frame let's say that you didn't know nothing about this class you choose one time frame and you stick to it um, it really depends on your trading strategy because you need a time frame that will tell you, for example your time frame might not, might not be able to help you to take action as quickly as you would like to take action or you might need to use another time frame just to give you a kind of alert or warning about for example a trend about to end or another trend being in the building so even though you are using your for an example as a swing trader you must keep in mind that one day is the time frame you use for swing trading but that's not the only one and i'm gonna show you when you choose your time frame all used time frame must have a purpose but your main time frame is absolutely unique for a particular trading strategy i think i already said that but you're gonna need other time frame just to complete your strategy. Now, generally, usual uh, usual time frame forms for swing strategy. Generally, from the biggest to the lowest, there is your main time. Um, oh, sorry. Okay, so usually time frames, usually time swing for swing strategy, from the biggest to the lowest. So we're gonna. From the biggest to the lowest, so we're gonna, for an example, I'm gonna use these images just as an illustration. From the biggest to the lowest, um, you're gonna use there is your main time frame right there. So I already told you that this time frame, which is your main time frame, is one day. Now you're gonna use a trend study time frame. This is a time frame in which you're gonna 
place you're gonna use it it's like a backup you know it's the time frame you're gonna use to technically technically answer one questions okay um what is the trend now then you're gonna have your main time frame you're gonna use another time frame which is generally smaller than your main time frame entries and exit time frame and specific time frame let's go let's keep going so the main time frame for this class generally the green is the subject called so suggested color for this for this class you can change it when you're done if you don't like the green just make sure that you use one color for your main time frame the reason is you're gonna do all your technical analysis drawings in the time frame which is for that purpose of the class the one day your risk reward evaluation you're gonna use it for zone of high importances for an example key point you know um, zone in which you have some brutal change of directions um zone in which you have um let's say strong um extremely important uh support resistance which is part of that technical analysis drawing train line and stuff though technically every these um every drawings and everything related to technical analysis you're gonna have to do them here including other indicators we're gonna talk when we're gonna talk about indicators um yes all indicators are more important in this particular time frame now this is your this is the cornerstone of your strategy the most important time frame in this particular class which is swing trading this is the one day the main time frame all the drawing you're gonna have to do in this time frame you're gonna use the green color okay i am gonna show you how to do that particularly um and then after that your trend study trend time frame the color the white is the suggested color for this class generally the the time frame you use for your trend study generally is uh, generally six to seven times bigger than the main time frame for an example if you choose the one day you know that we're gonna have to use a uh, another time frame to do our trend study so a uh, six time one day or seven time one day is roughly one week so that's the reason why in the very first beginning of this class i told you to choose the one week because we're gonna use it because it's six seven times bigger than the one day which is gonna be your trend study time frame and you're gonna use the white color as a suggest color suggested color I am gonna show you why it's important. Sorry. Now, this time frame is the time frame you use because it's the time frame you use to do one thing. Let's go to the board. This in this time frame, your trend study time frame, um, trend study. I just use that. Trend study you don't go ahead and you don't do straight you do not study pattern you do not do any kind of serious technical analysis in this because this time frame is here to answer one question what is the trend that's it what is the trend that's the question and then because this this is a simple question you are expecting a simple a simple um, you are expecting a simple uh, answer it's a bull trend it's um, sideways and it's a bear oh man sorry okay so the trend study time frame you're gonna use must use must be used for this single thing are we bullish are we sideways are we bearish now 
once you get your answer once you get your answer okay no matter which one is this you never trade against this time frame so if the trend study time frame tells you it's a bullish time frame you don't you do not short you do not you just keep going long only do not trade against it it's extremely important this time frame is a time frame um is the bigger guy it's like the high ranking officers that i show you in the beginning of this video okay and you must see everything in the same kind of philosophy when you swing trading and after that you have your ex entries and exit time frame now generally once again it's four to six times lesser than the main time frame that you're using okay it's used for position management it's used for entries on longs um going longs on retracement in a bull trend or short rallies on the bear trend. now the reason why it's important the reason why it's important and i'm gonna try to explain that to you is because when you are using your um your main time frame you must you when you are using your main time frame generally you you can have um you can have for example your main time frame your main time frame which is the one day for an example might tell you that you have um, you have a situation of bull market so uh, not bull market you have uh, an opportunity to enter along or whatever the case might be we're gonna talk about for an example we're gonna talk about um, triangle down the way so it's it's pretty easy to Let's go ahead and talk about talk. I'm gonna. It's not too early to talk about that now. Now, if you see this in the one day, let me let me make it more nice. Okay, so in one day, you manage to identify an interesting and beautiful ascending triangle. You are here, for an example. Okay. You are here, and then you did put your um, resistance somewhere over there. And then, because the green is the most important, is the most um, uh, is the color that you're gonna use. So let's just put green. You did put uh, resistance, you know, line over here. And then you use your trend line and then you spot a nice and beautiful triangle now you know that this figure it's 80 per 85 percent gonna break up and then that's a nice that's a nice um there is a good r here um and let's say anything from um it's a decent RR, so it's not one to one. It's supposed to be anywhere higher, like around three to ones, anywhere. So you want to enter a trade, but what happened is you see this triangle, and then after a few days, we are here. Okay, now what is it? Is that um, suddenly, suddenly? We start being over here okay there is no break yet no generally everybody's expecting a break but there's no break yet now you can go ahead and use your entries and exit time frame in this zone right there it's i thought it's what supposed to be in red okay so it's supposed to be in red you're gonna use your entry and exit time frame which is the full hour to give you an idea of what is most likely to happen so you're gonna have a total different shape and then you might need to use a strategy to enter a trade here before the break or even there you know anywhere because you you always put the triangle you know it's 85 percent possibility of going up it's not stupid to enter anywhere some here in this movement but it's very difficult to find an entry 
in the same time frame that you are using as your main time frame so you probably need to go in a four hour time frame and look for some uh, retracement in this move right there there's that move in this move right there you um look for some retracement in your entry just to be part of that building or just to be part of that um possibility that for all of that 85 percent possibility of breaking up in the uptrend so just to be part of this you're gonna use that now what's happened is generally you might have a, a retest you know anything can happen in the market really um you can have a movement like that but the thing is you're gonna use the daily time frame to keep a night on the pattern but you're gonna use the five hour time frame just to get a better entry and better easy the same thing when it comes to um, closing a trade for an example if you did enter a position and you were in that position you were in that position okay and then it was a uh, it was a long okay so the market have been going up for a very long period of time and then you know it's not always trade and everything now you are here this is the daily because it's green remember you are here because it's green and you are here what you can do is you go in your lower time frame you remember it's full hour but because of the red is the color of your entry and exit time frame you might spot a diversion I know you don't I haven't talked about these terms divergence divergence in the four hour time frame before it ever happened in a one day so because of that you might need to reduce your position just to make sure that you get the best out of your trade okay now I haven't talked about this word here generally I'm gonna be a little bit um simple it's a situation in which um the price action the price is telling you something totally different to different ends to a uh, very specific indicator i'm gonna keep this definition i'm not gonna go into too much detail because that's not that's not the that's, that's not the subject of this particular class but for now you need to understand that that uh, four hour time frame in this class is your entry and exit time frame and after this there is uh, another time frame which is called um, it's specific time frame but I call it a particular time frame this is not a time frame that you're gonna use generally okay uh, in this class it's generally the one hour so it's supposed to be anywhere from 12 12 times lesser than the min 12 to 24 same not same thing generally is 12 to anywhere from 20 to 30 i think i didn't know because it's something that you will probably never use only for some very specific situation for example if you you might need to put some alerts um for an example i'm, I'm gonna try to explain that to you um, you might not understand it yet, but when you're done with, the, with, with this class and if you ever go back and review this video, you will get the point. Now, let's say that, um, let's say that now you are in your one day time frame, you spot an opportunity. Okay, an opportunity. And then, oh man, what did I do? Sorry. You go in your one day and then you spot an opportunity so what do you do is that okay I'm gonna go in my f entry time frame to see what would be the best way for me to get the best out of this opportunity so you look for entry or exit maybe you spot an opportunity to close to or to open whatever it is and then 
what do you do is um, this is your entry and exit time frame you already did your trend study I cannot use white now um, what do you do is um, orange orange is suggest color so one hour time frame is 20 time lesser than this this is six time you can't use this to set some very important very specific stuff like for an example um, if you want an entry if you want an entry it's a bull trend your one day said it's an opportunity to go long but when you were doing the technical analysis maybe the movement already happened now you are looking for an entry you set up your entry zone but you remember we swing traders we don't stick in front of computer maybe you want need to put some alerts here that's the reason why they call it particular a time frame or specific you might need to put some alerts an alert in a situation of one example overbought in RSI overbought in RSI um, you know so when it's oh, 30 you it's you will probably find um, situation of not overbought or, yeah. now if you want to enter a long position maybe you know maybe you might need a you might need an over not over bull sorry you're gonna need another sold you know that's probably when I'm gonna talk about um, um, RSI you'll find this very interesting so an oversold in a bull trend in which you spot an entry in that one day it's an interesting thing so you might look for an oversold in one hour went along because maybe you didn't catch the movement at the very beginning for an example here maybe we are somewhere here you need the best entry because you haven't spot uh, you didn't manage to enter here for an example a swing that's a swing you know um, that's the reason why they call this swing trading because generally you got movement retracement movement retracement we're looking to get these things right there you know they call them swings same thing for bear market when the market is going down you know I'm sorry that's the exact same thing that I do on my books really sorry about that so these these are called swings you know these are called swings and that's why they calling swing trader we got that swing right there and then we're gonna we want to enjoy this movement maybe we are here or here we did not manage to enter at the very beginning so we're gonna use these sets of these sets of time frame to get the best entry and all the best exit maybe we were long and then we didn't manage to get at the very top and we start seeing sign of reversal in the one day and we're gonna go ahead and look for another boat or sign one hour time frame we put some hours that's why they call them specific we don't really use that a lot but always helps to manage and we will certainly have to talk about this again but for the purpose of selecting the time frame as of now this is the type of thing you need to know and then the very last one um i think no there's no okay so remember the 40s important for us swing traders white is a trend green is the technical analysis your ta time frame red is your trade orange is is just the tourism you know well explained so white ah, i cannot use right i'm gonna i'm gonna take yellow but just keep that in mind you know it's right so trend and the technical analysis the a trade trade and then uh it's orange okay they call it tourist or they all they say toy toy or you can say tourism same thing it's always t so keep that um keep that structure in your brain as a swing trader that's exactly how you're gonna keep doing even your trade is the same order you study the trend you do your ta you enter the trade and this if ever you need 
do not switch anything because you're gonna pay the, the high price okay now i think that that's it for the this class okay so what is the time frame for swing trader one day okay main time frame but you need to take every uh, every other things that i already told you as consideration for that particular trading style okay so guys i'm gonna leave you here um i'm not the i know that i'm not the only one who want to give if you have any donation if you want to do i put some wallets um addresses and feel free to do whatever you want i'm just gonna use it for promotion of this same channel so um Remember to subscribe into the channel, like, do comments because I know that I don't know everything. You probably need to add something, so I am open to that too. And um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care. Bye.